Hello, thank you for joining me once again on the Basic Academy. On today's video, we shall be looking at how to estimate ordinal logistic regression using e-views. Okay, supposing we have um, this questionnaire that we are that was generated for this purpose. Here we are looking at the impact of entrepreneurial orientation on SME sales growth. We are aggressiveness, innovativeness, and risk taking measures entrepreneurial orientation, and we have the SME's growth here. And these are the question, questions raised for this particular questionnaire here. As you can see, there are five questions for each of the variables. And each of these questions were based on five point Likert scale, where one stands for strongly disagree, up to five, which is strongly agree, as captured in the response scale here. So let us assume that this is the questionnaire that was generated for this particular purpose here. All right. And this questionnaire has been distributed to the following respondents. Here we're looking at about 397 respondents. Let me go down so that you see it. You're looking at about 397 respondents. Okay. And these are the responses from all those respondents. The data set generated from their responses. Here we have sales growth, aggressiveness, innovativeness, and risk taking. As you can see here. Now, this particular question here for, um, that were answered by the respondents, and the average value captured are here in this yellow column here for sales growth to have SG. How we got these values here is that we added all this for this particular respondent, respondent number one, and divided by five. That's adding all this and divide by number of questions here. One, two, three, four, five. And we got this value here, 3.2. And these questions or this uh, data are based on five point Likert scale captured. So these are the average values, same for AGR, which is aggressiveness and for innovativeness, INV and the risk taking will have RT, as you can see here. Now, the summary of this rectangular and the summary of this column here, rather, have been summarized under this particular sheet here, Excel sheet here. All right, to have the values captured here, the summary. Now, we're going to move these values into um, e-views for further analysis using uh, ordinal logistics method. So what I'm going to simply do is to highlight all this. Okay. After highlighting all this, then we copy for all the respondents. So highlight and copy them. So I'm going to launch my e-views. Okay. I have these views here. Then the first thing I need to do is to create, click on create a new e-views work file then on that work work file structure type here click this and select unstructured slash undated remember we are looking at about 397 observations which were 397 respondents so we'll type in 397 here yeah? then click ok remember we've already copied the data set so we're going to paste it inside this box here click finish then select no so we'll have our data set captured. Now remember that um, for order logistic regression method, the, the dependent variable must be an ordered outcome. Like in our case here, opening sales growth, which is our dependent variable here, we can see that it is not in an ordered outcome. All right. So what we're going to simply do is that we're going to convert all this to a whole number in our Excel file, so that to be in an ordered outcome. So we'll go back to the Excel file. Okay. Scrolling up up to the last value so i'm simply going to do is that will highlight all this for the sales growth and convert it to an a whole number so that it will be in form of an ordered outcome okay highlighting see highlighting okay i've highlighted all of them then come here and click this to convert it to a whole number so i haven't done that you copy again then go back to e-views then still under sales growth data you click this edit plus slash minus and paste. Okay, the values here are now showing an ordered outcome rather than um, scale. Okay, as you can see here, they are now in an ordered outcome, capturing it in form of a whole number. All right, so we can as well close this. Right, the next thing we need to do is now is to perform our ordinary logistic regression on this e view output, um, e views box here. So we'll click on quick. Then click on estimate equation. The dependent variable is sales growth, SG, space C, space. The independent variables will have AGR, INV, and will have RT. Then on that method here, you click this drop down button and select 
or that choice or that okay then under this um error distribution here you select logistic logistic then simply click ok then you have your result all right so we have a result here okay now if you look at this output result here you realize that the odd ratio is not showing so i'm going to show you how to generate the odd ratio from this ordinal logistic regression i've already moved this result to my ms word for easy interpretation and explanation all right so i'll go to my ms word now okay this is my ms word here we have already pasted the result right as you can see here right so here we have the odd ratio for agr which is 1.9525 or half for inv and also half for rt remember the odd ratio is usually captured at exponent b which is exponent of the coefficient here exponential of the coefficient of each of these coefficients so well, what we're going to do to show you how we got these values here is that i'm going to launch my scientific calculator right and then convert each of these coefficients to exponential so that we have these values here so the first thing I need to do under this scientific calculator, you click on shift. Okay. Then under the natural log here, ln, you click this so that this exponent um, sign or symbol here will show in the calculator. So we'll click on this. So we'll have the E symbol that is representing the exponent or exponential as the case may be. So the next we need to do is to open a bracket. Then type in these values we we'll have here for each of these uh, variable so we'll start with the first one here yeah, we'll have 0 0.66690091 then close your bracket then simply click equal sign here yeah, we'll have 1.952461712 i've already run it up to four decimal place here well, we'll have 1.9525 okay captured here that this is the all ratio for aggressiveness which is agr we're going to also do for innovativeness so what i'm simply going to do is to click this okay then we'll delete the values here and type in for innovativeness 0 0.241994 then you simply click ok i we'll have 1.2737 and you see that here round it up in four decimal places then let's do also for risk taking which is the last one okay click on this you delete then have six six four zero seven nine then click equal sign we'll have one point nine four two seven right in the top the four decimal place we'll have for um risk taking which is rt captured here so we can actually use scientific calculator to get the odd ratio for each of the coefficients here by simply clicking on shift then click on natural log here so that this exponential function will come up and you type in your figures and do just the way I've done it right now. Okay, so scrolling down, you see where I summarize it neatly for easy presentation, either in your seminar work or research work or thesis or whichever work you want to use it for. We have the odd ratio here neatly captured in an upper form table very neatly. So scrolling down, you see the interpretation for each of the values we have here. For aggressiveness here, the coefficient value of 0.6691 indicates that when the level of aggressiveness increases by one unit, the log odds of achieving higher sales growth categories as opposed to the combined lower sales cate growth categories also increases by approximately 0.6691 units, holding all the variables constant. Look at it here, 0.6691, which is also captured here, 0.66 in four decimal places, so we'll run it up four decimal places here. Then moving down also for the odd ratio, the odd ratio of 1.9525, remember, 1.9525 for aggressiveness still, means that with a one unit increase in aggressiveness, the odds of achieving a higher level of sales growth are about 95.25% higher compared to those with a one unit decrease, a one unit decrease in aggressiveness, assuming other variables are held constant. All right. So that's what we we'll have here for the odd ratio. Then lastly, for the Z statistics, the Z statistics value of 5.1823 significates, signifies that the coefficient for aggressiveness is significantly different from zero. And the relationship between aggressiveness and sales growth is statistically significant. Given that associated probability value of 0.000, 
This suggests that the result is statistically significant at common significant level of either 5% or 0 or 1%, which is 0 0.01. 5% is 0 0.05 and 1% is 0 0.01. Okay. So we also have for innovativeness, I may not have to read it out. I will scroll down gently so that you can either pause this video if I'm too fast and read and see how it's interpreted also for risk taking also. And lastly, for model fit result, we have the pseudo R squared, which gave a value of 0 0.1104. This is analogous to analogous measure to the R square used in linear regression adopted for the logistic regression model where the dependent variable is ordered rather than continuous. A value of 0 0.1104 suggests that approximately 11.04% of the variability in the dependent variable, in this case, SME sales growth, is explained by the model. Okay, we we'll have other interpretation for also for the likelihood ratio statistic, which gave a value of 105.6883. We we'll have the interpretation here. We we'll say that the LR statistic test the goodness of fit of the model. Specifically, it compares the likelihood of the model of the model with the included independent variables to a model with no predictors beyond the intercept. A value of 105.6883 is quite high, suggesting that the model with predictors provide a significantly better fit to the data than the null model and will have its probability value also captured here. Okay, so if I'm actually too fast in reading out or explaining, you can actually pause the video and, and um, watch the explanation captured. Okay. So now let us go back to the e-views to show you further, um, further things that might be of interest to you. So here in this e-views, with this data, you can actually do other things like descriptive statistics and as well as correlation analysis using this same data. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to close this and show you how to run descriptive statistics and correlation analysis in case you want to add it to your work. So for us to run the descriptive statistics, what I'm going to do now is to click this each of these variables and hold down the control key and click others to still holding down the control key right click okay then open as a group okay once you highlight all you remove your con hand from the control key and open as group then the next thing you need to do is to click view then simply scroll down to descriptive statistic if you have any missing value in your data set you select individual samples but in our case we don't have any missing value in our data set so we'll select common sample and here we have, we have our descriptive statistic results neatly captured. For you to run the correlation also, simply click view, then scroll down to covariance analysis. Okay, uncheck this covariance, then simply check correlation as well as the probability value, which is probability here. Then click OK. Here we are, we have our correlation analysis. You can also add it to your research work, still using the data set captured okay so basically this is how to conduct ordinary logistic regression using eviews okay kindly share this video to whoever that might be interested in having it for his or her research work thank you for watching us and also thank you for listening